careful in the kitchen. See you later then. Bye bye. Have bye. a great time, honey. Bye. You seem too happy I'm leaving. You better remember everything you promised me. Get all of our homework done. Don't leave messes anywhere. And I will not let the children starve. Please don't give them only junk food, all right? Not gonna happen. I'm making something from the book. I'll make you whatever you want as long as it's in wow, here. Wow, Dad! Huh? That, that sounds, sounds awesome! awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yahoo! I'm finally done! Jin! Jin. Huh? What's that, Jin? This is called the three-step alarm. Three-step three step step alarm? alarm? I've never heard of that. That might be, because I just invented it. It rings when children cross into what should be a child-free area. Child-free area? Yeah. A child-free area is a one-meter zone around things that can cause an accident, like a stove or a heater. Children should be kept from entering that zone. Very smart. Huh? Why is it ringing, Jin? Well, a child walked into the area, didn't he? I am not a child. Just because you're big doesn't mean that you're an adult yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing, Dad! It's done! Oh, oh, no. Money! <laughs> huh? Not a chance! Not a chance! <laughs> and he shoots! Huh? Oh. 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 Tweet, huh? you're out, Dad! Dad's out! <laughs> Huh? It's mom. Shh. Hmm? Shh. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Hello? Everybody's fine. Peter? Uh, of course he's doing his homework. Lucy? Oh, yeah. She's picking up her toys. Dinner? Yep. Almost done. It already smells great. Guess I'll move along now. Please don't forget to install your new three-step alarm. We'll install it. Thanks again. Bye-bye, Roy. Next stop is Little Peter's house. Hmm. Right. First, we chop all the onions up. This is how you do it. Like this. Come on, Dad. Let me slice a few. No, no. Knives are dangerous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My oh, eyes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Now, who wants to sprinkle uh -huh. the salt? I do. Take that. Now the pepper. I do. I Smells great! It's almost done. Huh? Bet that's mom. Hang tight for huh? a second, kids. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, I'm honey. What's going star. on? Me too. <laughs> what is it, buddy? <gasps> oh, no! The meat's burning! Peter, what are you doing? The meat's going to burn. It needs to be turned. Ow! Hot. Uh, oh. I just turn? Other side, and done! Peter! Huh? Peter! <laughs> Peter! Lucy, why do you keep screaming? Just look! Just look! Huh? Ah! We'll have dinner any minute now. Hurry home. Ah! Huh? <laughs> Children! Huh? Smoke's coming out of Peter's house! <laughs> Peter, grab onto my hand! Okay! Children! Robert! You all need to get out of the house! Right, sure. <laughs> Just thank goodness that nobody got hurt. Thank uh -huh. you, Roy. You saved all our lives, I'm sure. To make sure that this doesn't happen anymore, I've got some safety tips for you. When you're cooking, never leave the kitchen while the stove is on. A fire can break out at any time. Also, put nothing flammable, such as towels or paper, near the stove's flame, because these can easily spread fire. And don't let pets or children get near the flames or the hot food. They might have an accident, and since they won't know how best to deal with it, they can be seriously injured. Yes! yes. All, right. All right. What's going on here? Huh? It's, it's mom. mom! I'm home because you said dinner would be ready now. Why are you all outside? Uh, well... <clears throat> well, honey, you know, about the dinner, the thing is, uh, we're eating out instead. What are you talking about? I just thought we'd go out to eat! Yay! We're eating out! Oh, 
My goodness, are we reading without being told? When it's raining, I guess books aren't bad. <laughs> I'm off to Ralph's for a bit. You all behave. Okay. See, See you later. later. You know, if I'm not here, you have to be extra good, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> be back in a jiff. I'm <laughs> <laughs> free now. This will be great. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Hey, that's mine! <laughs> he shoots! Oh. Not on my watch! Oh. Whoops! Oh no! <sighs> 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. Stick him up! Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail, robbers! <laughs> no way! Get over here! That was a close one. Silly dog! <laughs> Here you go, Rob. Thanks. I'll return it as soon as I can. <laughs> oh, is that the new fly fishing model? <clears throat> you like it? Neat, right? These new weight fives are really something. Caught me a four pound perch the other day. <laughs> so the reel's pretty good? You bet. And look here, this one's for trout. Should we hide? Uh, oh, we gotta find someplace soon! Huh? Aha! <laughs> this is the best place! <laughs> yeah, huh? maybe the best place for getting found first. There's gotta be a better place to hide. Huh? Oh! Ha! <laughs> Two... One! Here I come! Hmm. <laughs> You guys. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, oh, my head. Nice. Now we'll find where Peter went. Oh. Gotcha! Huh. Not there either. Huh? There you are. Huh? Wrong again. Where did he go? Peter! <laughs> It'll be years before they find me. <laughs> huh? Is that Peter on the roof? Careful! You win! I'm done looking! Peter! Just come out! <laughs> Once again, Peter is the champion. <sighs> Okay, thank you, Amber. Peter, how could you do something so silly? <sighs> that was so dangerous. I was just trying to find a good hide-and-seek spot. Even though our homes feel like the safest place, bad things can still happen mm -hmm. there, so we need to watch out. Mm -hmm. If you run indoors, you can hit a corner or something hard. That might hurt. And sometimes things can fall off tall shelves. In kitchens and bathrooms, keep an eye out for water on the ground. Sometimes you can slip, especially if you're going fast. Lastly, don't ever go out of windows, especially if they're high up. You're not a bird. The best place to run and play is always the playground or somewhere outside. Game on! Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. We, we know, know that, that now. <laughs> I'm back from Ralph's house. Hi, Hi Mr. Robert. Robert. <laughs> 
You all behaved yourselves, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Huh? My fishing rod! Streetwise. Wow! That looks good! Thanks. But this one isn't for you. It's a surprise present for Mrs. Rora. It's her birthday today. May I have one teensy slice? If she gets one, so should I. Don't worry. I'll bake for you, too. Yahoo! <laughs> Yeah? Well, I'd like to trade Mom's pie for some of Mrs. Rora's chocolate chip cookies. Ah, me too, me too. <laughs> Cab's supposed to deliver the pie, but he's running a little late. It's going to get oh. cold. I can take it to her. <gasps> really? <laughs> it's not too far. Please, let me go. All right. And while you're gone, I'll bake a pie for you, okay? Yeah! And I'm going to come too. What do you mean? It's too huh? far, Susie. You just said it isn't far. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, kids. Uh, uh, Wish Mrs. Rora a happy birthday uh, for me. Uh, Mom, I don't want to take her. If Susie listens to you, there won't be any problems. Right, Kevin? Uh, no. Uh, Will you listen to Kevin? Yes! <laughs> Go straight to the main road, Kevin. Yeah. Susie, hurry up, will ya? The pie's gonna get cold. I'm trying. Huh? Kevin, where are you going? This is the shortcut to Mrs. Rora's. But Mom told us to go straight to the main road. It's okay. I know the way better than Mom. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Okay, Cab, you're <sighs> all set. I feel like new, Amber. Oh. Oh, boy. Gotta run an errand for Kevin's mom. Huh? Bye, Cab. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Whoa! <gasps> this street is weird. Why do the cars come so close? Well, see, this is kind of a road, okay? Oh. Huh. Okay, pal, back up. I came in first. What are you talking uh, about? I was here uh, first. You uh, back not up. This is scary. Uh, right uh, don't worry about uh, them, Susie. Do We're almost so there. I think this way might be faster. Kevin, I'll take it for a while. Oh, thanks, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> What happened, Cab? Holy! <laughs> you okay, Susie? That pie was for Mrs. Rora! Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sure that Mrs. Rora will be very happy that both of you are safe. Cab, I'm surprised. You know you need to be extra careful and watch for pedestrians in alleys like this. I'm sorry. It's huh? all my fault, Polly. Kevin, Susie, huh? there are some simple rules you should always follow when you walk in places where there's no sidewalk, and I'd like to teach them to you. Okay. First, always walk along the side of the road, not in the middle. If you walk in the middle, you can't see cars coming behind you, and that's dangerous. Second, always stop and move to the side when cars want to get by. Walk after they pass. Drivers can't always see you. Always stop and look carefully before crossing. Never run out. Third, when you walk on a narrow road, don't walk side by side. Always walk in a line. And it's not a good idea to carry anything on the side the cars are on. If one gets too close, a little bump can cause a big accident. So follow the rules, and even a walk down a narrow road can be a lot safer for everybody. Okay, Polly. That's great, but the pie's ruined. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Mom's baking another one. That's right. <laughs> Mrs. Rora, we're here. Oh, what a surprise. Happy birthday, Mrs. 
This is Laura. How oh, sweet. This is a pie for you from my mom. Oh, well, isn't that thoughtful? Come on in. I think I have something for you, too. <laughs> wow! Chocolate chip cookies! These are my favorite cookies in the whole world. They're my favorite cookies in the whole entire universe. <laughs> well, I must admit, I like them, too. <laughs> Minnie's present. Jin, is this going to take a long time? This is extremely detailed work and something that can't be rushed. Hello. Huh? Holly! What's that you're working on? Ellie needed some new goggles. I'm installing a new infrared function. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I'm going to town to patrol. Show me when they're finished, okay? Okay, Polly. Grandpa, what do you want for your birthday? Uh, no, I don't need any presents, sweetheart. Sure you do. Everyone needs presents for their birthday. How about flowers? <laughs> flowers would be fine. And a nice balloon. Hmm, balloons are good. Oh, you're just saying everything sounds good. Oh, yes. No! Uh, mm. Are you all right? I'm okay, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. Just be careful. I will. Uh. I have to go see Mr. Wheeler. I'll see you at home afterwards. Bye. <laughs> Look out! No! Not again! <laughs> be careful. Oh. Hi, Minnie. Huh? Hi, Polly. How are you? Minnie, you look sad about something. Uh, actually, I am. I'm sad about two things. Two different things? Yes. The first one is I don't know what to get Grandpa for a present, and his birthday is tomorrow. And the other thing is that he can't see that well anymore. Mm. Well, I guess that explains why you look so sad. Yup. Hmm. Ah! Here's an idea. You could get him a pair of reading glasses. But I've never heard of them. What do they do? They make things look bigger than they really are. If you could do that, then it would take care of both of the things that are upsetting you. I guess. But I'm not even sure where to get reading glasses. Leave it to me. I'm sure we can help you figure that out. All right. So you'd like me to make some reading glasses for Mr. Musty's birthday present? Right. But his birthday is tomorrow. No problem. Ellie will have to wait for his goggles. That's okay, right? No. Huh? It's for Mr. Musty's present, so I don't mind. Uh, are you sure? Uh, Thank you so much. Don't mention uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay if I help you make Grandpa's present, Jin? Oh, so you really want to get involved in making the present, too? I think. <laughs> All right, Minnie. Then let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Minnie, help me move this over there. No, wait. Over here is better. Yes, ma'am. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Bye, Grandpa. Minnie? Where are you off to so early? It's a secret. Be back before dark. Huh, rascal. Do 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 do. Huh? It's Minnie. Minnie, what's up? I'm meeting Jen. Oh yeah. Don't forget my grandpa's birthday party tonight. Don't be late. See you later. Why is she in such a hurry? Jin! We came to watch. Shh! Jin and I are working very diligently. Oh. Hush. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> All done. So, what do you think of them? Wow! They, they look, look amazing! amazing. <laughs> you did a great job! <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> this was a great idea. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Got a new pair of glasses to give to my grandpa for his birthday. <laughs> la 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 la.
I wonder why Minnie isn't here. She will be soon. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> here she is now, Minnie! Uh, huh? Happy birthday, Gramps! Oh, thank you, Rhodey. Say, were you hanging out with Minnie at all during the day? No, sir. Minnie was going to the rescue station today. Oh, she was? I bet Mr. Musty has opened up his new glasses by uh -huh. now. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was really happy with them, Jin. <laughs> Good work. Well, thank you. Luckily, Helly wasn't in a big hurry for his goggles. Oh, <laughs> I'll get to those tomorrow for sure, Helly. Huh? Huh? Oh, Mr. Musty! Happy birthday to you! Oh, thanks, Jin. Tell me, is Minnie there by any chance? She left here a few hours ago. Really? Well, then, she should have been home by now. So you're saying oh. Minnie hasn't come home yet? I know. What if something horrible's happened to my granddaughter? Don't worry, Mr. Musty. We'll go search for Minnie. Let's split up and look for her. All, All right. right. Okay, then we'll just have to broaden our search. Hey, guys, I found her. Huh? We're at the 16th Street Hill. All right, speed up. Right. right. Mm. Hmm. Are you all right? Get me out! <gasps> Somehow she got stuck between the rocks. She won't budge. Roy, we have some rocks to move. Right. <laughs> Ready? Ready. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three! <laughs> wow, you did it! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Just glad it all worked out. <laughs> oh my gosh, the presents! <gasps> oh no, they're broken. Grandpa's special presents. <laughs> Minnie. <laughs> oh. oh, it 
It's her! I'm back, Grandpa! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry! I'm just happy that you're home safe now. <laughs> but something bad happened. Your birthday present got broken. Oh. You should know, Minnie and Jin worked hard on it. Oh. I wanted to give you the glasses for your birthday so you could see better. Minnie, do you know what the best present in the whole world for me is? What is it? You, my dear. I'm just happy you came home safely tonight. You are? Yes, of course. What would I do without that sweet smile? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Our, Our pleasure. pleasure. All right. Now that Minnie's back, it's time for the party. Yay! It's party time! <laughs> Did you guys bring a present for my grandpa's birthday? Uh, no. We just came, came for the cake. cake. What? How could you not bring a present? Ah, oh, look out! out. Oh. She's right behind us! <laughs> Get out of here, you two! <laughs> Thinking of Granddaughter. Do I stand on this side? Yep, and look right here. Focused? Yeah, crystal clear. We're, We're back. back! Hey, friends! Kelly, I heard the camera was broken. Is it fixed now? Fixed now? Kelly was so impatient, it had to be now. <laughs> Guess she's right. I hadn't been able to take pictures in such a long time. Roy, I'll take yours, okay? <laughs> Not now. As you can see, I'm in need of a lot of washing. Why don't you take some pictures of some of your friends in town? Yeah, Helly. I'm sure they'd be happy to let you. Wow, that's a good idea. I'll go and take them right now. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> You're all set, Minnie. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Wheeler. <laughs> Grandpa, would it be all right if I went and saw my friends for a while? Yes, of course. Thank you. See you later. <sighs> you know, I'd really like to see my granddaughter today. I'm sure. How long has it been? Why don't you invite her over sometime? I'd love to do just that, but unfortunately, she lives in an overseas country that's far, far away from here. I can't go there because of the store. Try not to let it bother you. I need to take my leave of you now. Have a good day, my friend. Bye. Take good care. Betty must have grown a lot. Huh? Huh? Hi, Mr. Wheeler. Hello, Posty. What brings you here? A package for you. Huh. <clears throat> All right. See you later. Thanks, Posty. Oh, it's from Betty. Look, there's even a letter. Now, let's see. To my loving grandfather. Grandpa, I miss you so much. Mom said thanks to this computer, I can talk on the telephone with you at the same time as I watch your face. It's called video telephony. I'm very, very glad that I'll be able to see you any time. Incredible. But... I've never seen so many buttons before. Huh. How do I get this machine to work? Hi there, Mr. Wheeler. Oh, Helly, what brings you here? I'm taking lots of pictures of all my friends in the town. Do you want me to take a picture of you? A picture? No, not right now. Do you know how to use this? Wow, where'd you get the computer? My granddaughter, Betty. But I have no idea how to use this thing at all. Jin can help you use your computer. She's really good at these things. Really? Hmm. Look, it's working. This button is used to turn the computer on. That's fascinating. <laughs> huh? And then, if you move the arrow with the mouse and click the icon, you can make a video call. Want to give it a try? Mm-hmm. I turn on the computer with this and make a video call by clicking here. That's perfect. Say, do you want to call Betty right now? Should I? That's right. She's sleeping. Since there, it's the middle of the night. I'll call her later. Then let's turn it off. Let me show you how. 
You point the arrow on the red off icon and click on it. Now you should try it out. All right. I do this, point the arrow on the red icon and click. Easy. <laughs> but there's one more thing to remember. This computer is made in a different country, which is why you use this. It's called a voltage converter. Uh-huh, whatever. This is quite amazing. If you have any questions at all, you can just give me a call. Thanks, but it's all memorized. I'm good. <laughs> So Mr. Wheeler has a computer? His granddaughter Betty sent it to him so they could talk face to face. And I went over to the store and taught him how it works. Computers aren't easy to use the first time. Wasn't it difficult for him? Uh-uh. He was so excited to talk to Betty, it didn't take long at all. So did he make a video call? No, not yet. They're in a different time zone over there. So he'll call her later. Good. It's time. Mm. Mm. Betty? I'm well. I'd love to talk to you face to face. I'm all ready to go. <laughs> so, this button turns it on. Huh. What's wrong? Oh, dear. <laughs> It's not plugged in. Now. Hey, it's not working. Huh? Oh! Oh no! I forgot the voltage converter! I have to pull this out now. Stop! That's hot! Fire! I wonder if Mr. Wheeler's on the computer with Betty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has to be thrilled since he hasn't seen his granddaughter since she was a baby. Huh? Rescue team, this is Jin. Ah, Mr. Wheeler. Did you have fun with your computer? Jin, trouble. There's a fire at the store. Fire, fire at, at the, the store? store? The plug fell out and I forgot to use the voltage converter. First, it's really dangerous to stay inside of the store. Get out, and I'll send the rescue team. It's too dangerous to stay there. You'll be much safer if you stand over there. Amber, help Mr. Wheeler. All right. Helly, keep everything under control. Roy, let's get in there and put out the fire. Got, Got it. it. Mr. Wheeler, Roy will make sure the fire gets put out. Come with me. All right. Oh, dear. My store. Holy, we need to turn off the power first. Right. Over there. It's off. Great. Lucky it wasn't a big fire and we put it out quickly. But I'm afraid that your computer's ruined. I can't believe what a careless mistake I've made. I've let down poor Betty. Don't be too hard on yourself. The important thing is that you're all right. Betty will be glad of that. I agree. Stay positive. Holy's right. right. Yes, I'm fine. 
But still, Betty was looking forward to seeing me. Huh. Hey, Mr. Wheeler, why don't you send Betty some pictures of yourself? Uh, pictures? Right. Sending pictures will let Betty know you're thinking of her. That way, Betty will always have the pictures to look at whenever she starts to miss you. That's a good idea. Oh, boy! I'll be the photographer! Oh, you do that for me? I'd love to. Excellent. Looks like you've rescued me <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> now, time to take your picture. <clears throat> Say cheese. Cheese. Great. Ooh. Great. Now a different pose. Mm. Awesome. Oh, yes. You look like you do this all the time. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. There are lots of nice pictures in there. These photos are just great. Thanks, Helly. <laughs> well, I had a great model. <laughs> <laughs> now all you need to do is to send them to Betty and you'll be all set. Huh. I wonder if there's a way to send them quickly. Holy! Maybe we could go and ask Marine. I heard he's getting ready to set sail for the same country Betty's living in. Yeah! Then the pictures will get there in no time. That's great. <laughs> Let's go and see. All set. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen, take care of it. Thank you for giving it to my granddaughter. My pleasure, Mr. Wheeler. I'll make sure I catch up on all the latest news. I'll fill you in as soon as I get back. Thanks again. Bye, Maureen. My lovely granddaughter, Betty. I miss you more than I can say. Please come and visit Broomstown soon. <laughs> we will meet my wonderful rescue team friends. Love, Grandpa. Don't look elsewhere when you walk. Check it out! It's a beetle larva! Wow! It's awesome! <laughs> okay, we'll trade for one week. Hey, that's great! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> What a cool game! So, you bought one? No, I borrowed it from Tim. Kevin, Doug, oh, hurry up! Okay, Scooby! <laughs> Kevin, over <laughs> here! <laughs> Width is 27.5, height 32. Oh! oh! Gosh, Jin, are you all right? Uh oh! I'm okay, Amber. Oh, I forgot all of the measurements. Jin, you should always watch where you're walking. Yeah. Have you seen Pulley? He's out right now, working with the children. Okay. Oh. Oh. Kevin? Kevin? Yeah, man, this is awesome! <laughs> Kevin, oh. didn't you hear me? Uh, huh? No, I didn't, uh -huh. Mom. You play with Susie. I need to do some work. Uh -huh. Can you read me this uh -huh. book? Uh -huh. So there's a wolf, and he huffed and he puffed, and the pigs lived uh -huh. happily ever after uh -huh. the end. Uh -huh. All done. Um, I don't think you read the story right. Look, I'm busy now. Go and uh -huh. play by yourself. Fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You take care now. Bye-bye, Scooby! Kevin, are you ready for the soccer game? Huh? Today? Look, I'm a little busy. Uh, uh, what is your deal? Uh, you keep bailing uh, on everything. Sorry. Uh, Bye. Gotta go. Uh, See ya, Doug. Uh, Kevin! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, time to play my beautiful game. <laughs> Hello, Polly. Mm -hmm. huh. Hello, children. 
Almost time to get going. Hello, huh? Polly. Hello there, Doug. Are you headed off to the game? Yep. <laughs> Where's Kevin? Isn't he coming? <sighs> oh. No, he's not. According to Kevin, he's too busy to play soccer. Oh? What's he doing? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Hi -ya! How you like that, pink pants? <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> Come on, final move! And take that! And that! And that! <laughs> huh? <laughs> no way! Okay, wow! Power jump! <laughs> hey, what on earth just happened there? Oh! Uh, 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 no, you don't! Uh, uh, oh! Uh, uh, whoa -ho! I win! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Uh, where am I? Uh, 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 Kevin! Stop! Stop! Wow, that was close. Tell me what happened, Kevin. Well, I was playing a mm. game, and then... And then what? And then I looked up, and I was in the middle of the road. Kevin, it's very dangerous to walk and play a game at the same time. When you walk along the street, you must pay attention. You can't play a game or read a book while you're walking. It's more dangerous than walking around with your eyes closed. Look, when you play a game, use your mobile phone, text someone, read a book, or listen to loud music, you won't be able to notice the cars coming toward you, which is very dangerous. Okay, Polly. <laughs> you know, Kevin, video games are fun, but playing soccer with your friends is a whole lot better. Yeah. Come on, kick it! Oh, oh, move. Oh, nice try! Oh, we are going to lose! No, you're not. The real game starts now. Kevin! Come on, Doug! Here we go! Come on, Sam! Uh, get the ball! Oh, yeah. He shoots! Oh. He no more. Never forget to turn off the gas. Mom, what are you doing? <gasps> Strawberries? <laughs> We're making strawberry jam today. It's so good on bread. Yay, awesome! Ooh, strawberries, yeah! Stop that! These are for strawberry jam! Come on, you've got plenty of them there! Children, stop fighting and be good until the jam's ready, all right? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy jam, jam, jam! Mom, I'm about to <laughs> die of hunger! It's almost done! <sighs> Just have to let it simmer down. So, can I have a little taste? Back up! Hey, what's your problem? Jam is for eating on <laughs> bread! It's oh. traditional. Oh. Lucy, fetch some bread from the living room. Yes, Mom. <laughs> hey. huh? oh. What happened? <laughs> Mommy, look. <gasps> <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Bad dog. Lucy, we'll get more bread. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, want me to carry the bread? No. Huh? I have to protect it from the bad, naughty dog. Huh. He probably ate the jam while we <gasps> were gone. Oh, no! Huh? <sighs> Mom, hurry, buddy's <laughs> eating all the jam! Relax, Lucy. The jam is still up on the stove, so Buddy can't get it. <gasps> Children, I think I forgot to turn the stove off! What happens when you don't turn it off? The jam might start to burn, and there could be a fire! <gasps> oh, the jam will burn up? The jam isn't the problem. The whole house could burn down. <laughs> no! no! Look, Look out! out! <laughs> <laughs> Move out of the way! Uh-oh! Oh, it's an apple! Mom, hurry! Yeah, I'm coming. 
Uh, miss, are you all right uh, down there? I'm just fine, thanks. <laughs> We're almost home! <gasps> Come on! Hurry up, Mom! <gasps> Kids, just follow your mom! <laughs> <gasps> this way's blocked, too! Come on! Oh, Mom, what'll happen if Buddy of our house burns down? <laughs> No, that must not happen! Come on! Here, this should work. Come on, we're going home! You are You're really awesome, Mom! Look out, Lucy! Lucy! Just a little bit further now. Peter! Uh, Peter, why? is something wrong? But he's all by himself at home. And I didn't remember to turn off the stove. Let's get there. Buddy! 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 Huh? <gasps> huh? Uh, hi, what's going on? Buddy! <laughs> it's a good thing Robert turned off the stove, or it could have been a real disaster. Sorry, Roy. I should have been more careful. I'll give you a couple of safety tips for using the stove. When the stove is in use, never leave it unattended. The pot might overheat and start a fire, or the ingredients may overflow and cause a gas leak. Also, before using the stove, make sure that there's no smell of gas in the air. If you start the stove when there is a gas leak, it could explode, so please always check. Also, make sure that the fire is fully lit. If the knob is turned while the fire is off, the gas could leak. Lastly, always remember to turn off the gas valve after using the stove. If you're worried you might forget, installing a gas timer might be a helpful precaution. We will. Thank you, Roy. Hey, Mom, can we please have some jam? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But where is the jam? <laughs> I left it on the table. Uh, oh, 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 buddy! buddy. <laughs> Strangers. Kidnapping is when an adult tries to take you against your mm -hmm. will. It's important not to go to places by yourself, especially if they're quiet and secluded. Stay with the group, okay? Yes! What should you do if an adult grabs you and tries to take you? I don't know you! Don't, don't touch, touch me. me! Someone, Someone help, help me. me! Very good. Don't forget that. The toy shop should be getting the Ultra Dragon in today. Then let's go. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the first one because I know a shortcut. <laughs> uh, it's kind of dark. Hey, kid. <gasps> ah! Ah, go away. I don't know you. Somebody help me. <laughs> Way to pay attention. Huh? Uh, what did you do that for? The teacher just uh, told us not to go uh, in secluded places alone. Uh, Johnny, the Super Dragon comes out today. That's where I'm going. Whoa, Super Dragon? Yeah, I'll see you there. Uh huh? Hold on, wait for me. Take a look at this. There was an attempted kidnapping in the next town. Huh? The suspect's face was caught on camera. He seems like a nice grandpa. He doesn't seem scary at all. Kidnappers aren't always scary-looking strangers. It could be someone who seems very nice, or someone the child already knows. To be safe, I'll increase my patrols. Please be vigilant. Sure, sure thing! thing. <clears throat> Here, chocolate ice cream just for you. Thank you so much. By the way, are you all alone? Jesse, uh -huh. are you ready? Uh -huh. I was so close! No one leaves their kids alone anymore these days. <gasps> Hold up! There's ice huh? cream! <laughs> no, Johnny. We need to leave. We can eat it really quick. Come oh, on, Johnny. Not come now. Come get your but free ice so cream good. today. Huh? Free ice cream? Uh, 
Here you are, my friend. Thank you so much. So, what are your names, gentlemen? I'm Johnny, and my friend's name is Peter. <laughs> They're making this too easy. Oh, you wouldn't happen to like cats. I found a stray kitten the other day. Maybe you'd like to have him. I Give love him cats. Can I, I have, have him? him? Why don't you go look at him? Wow. Follow me. Johnny, you're allergic to cats, remember? I'll take him home. Peter, you already have Buddy at home. He won't be happy with a cat. I guess not. We can't take him after all. Uh, uh, that's all right. I need to go to the post office anyway. You don't happen to know the way. Sure we do. No one knows Broomstown better than we do. Well, then hop in and you can show me. Sure. <laughs> Hold on. Huh? The Super Dragon. <laughs> oh, that's right. We should go now. Sorry, what? mister. Thanks for the ice cream. Wait. Oh, oh, oh my stomach. Oh, the agony. Hold on. Are you all right? I don't know what's wrong. If you could Here, help... I got you. <sighs> Wait, let's call the rescue team. Huh? Rescue team? No, oh, no. Come here. Uh, Stop struggling and get in the truck! Let me go! Let go! Put me down! Somebody help! Peter! Help! Help! Huh? What, what is, is that? that? Somebody! Somebody please help! It's Johnny! Stop! I don't want to go with you! Yeah, just get in there and keep quiet! Get... Let go! Get your hands off him! Looks huh? like I better get out of here! Stop! Are you all right? Stay there. You're in a lot of trouble, sir. Oh, I need a lawyer. Dad! Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm so glad you're safe now. Hey, you guys, that was a close call, huh? We're glad you're all right. Mm. Remember, if a stranger offers to buy you a toy or a treat, you have to say no and walk away. If someone you don't know asks for directions or to help find a lost pet, tell them you can't help and again walk away. Someone may tell you that a family member is sick. Under no circumstances should you go with him. Instead, check with your family and tell them what's happening. Understand? Yep, thank, thank you, Amber. Amber. Oh, no, wait! The Super Dragon! Oh, oh, I really wanted it. Then should we go get it right now? Huh? Really? Hey, Dad, <sighs> can we go together? Yes, of course! <laughs> You're the best! Woo! Best dads ever! <laughs> 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 Never, ever play with fire. Guys, mm. over there is the cabbage. Oh. And there's the lettuce <laughs> and the yummy spinach. Wow. wow. Look, at, Look that. at that. Wow. Huh? What are they up to over there? <laughs> and if I do this... What's going on? Ah, you scared me. Charles, come huh. here and check this out. Peter's burning stuff with his magnifying glass. Huh? Peter, you should never play with fire. But it isn't yeah. play. It's a science mm -hmm. experiment about harnessing the sun's power. Look, oh. it worked. Whoa. Uh, isn't that fire too big? Oh. Uh. 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 Okay, students, huh? gather up. Uh. Right, come on. Uh. 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 Goodbye, children. Come back soon. <laughs> <laughs> huh? uh, what's wrong with the light? Ah, fire! Did you hear? Tracky's <gasps> house caught on fire! <gasps> For real? Goodness, what happened? They had to call in the rescue team and everything. It was pretty bad. Oh dear, uh, is Tracky going to be okay? Uh, uh, uh. Do you think we caused the fire at Tracky's? It's weird. Our little fire was out for sure. Listen, guys, we need to be honest and tell the teacher about the fire. What? what? Charles, are you kidding? If we tell the teacher, then all our families will find out, and then they'll tell the rescue team. Oh. Then we'll end up in jail or worse. Oh, no. Uh, jail? I can't go to prison. So the whole thing about what we did at Trackies will be our secret and we'll never tell. Um, um but... but... Cleanie, did you hear? 
Huh? There was a bad fire out at Tracky's place, and Tracky got hurt. Really? And was he hurt bad? Well, he's lying in bed wrapped in bandages. Huh? <gasps> I'm sorry, but I have to confess what we've done. What? No <gasps> way! You promised you wouldn't tell, remember? I'm with Johnny. Tracky got hurt, and it's all because of us. Guys, please don't tell. Huh? <gasps> Uh, huh? Phew. <sighs> then it's settled. No one says a word, right? Uh-huh. I'm back. Hi, Peter. Did you hear? There was a fire at Tracky's. Uh, Mom, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I wonder what's bothering him. <laughs> uh, Peter, you dropped this on the huh? floor. Ah, uh, give it here. Uh. Mm. Huh? 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 Peter? Huh? I'm so disappointed that you caused the fire. Cindy, I didn't! You set Tracky's house on fire! Huh? Huh? I never no, knew no. our son was like that. Uh, Dad! Oh, Mom! It isn't true! Peter! Huh? Johnny! Charles! Wow. Why are you in there? Peter, how could you have done this to good old Tracky? Look what you did! Tracky, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's all my fault! Now, what are you guys telling us? We were playing with fire and we didn't mean it, but the fire at Tracky's was our fault. It's our fault Tracky got hurt. We didn't know what was going to happen, though. We're so sorry. So, so very sorry. sorry. Uh, huh? Huh? Jen! Got some fresh fruit here! Huh? <laughs> huh? Tracky, are you okay? <gasps> Guys, the hmm. fire at Tracky's house was caused by a short hmm. circuit. And so I just burned huh? my hand a little bit. <laughs> We're really <laughs> glad you didn't get badly hurt, Tracky! Hang on. Exactly what did you guys do at Tracky's Garage? Um, well... Children, playing with fire is incredibly dangerous. You must never do it again. You should never play with matches, lighters, candles, or magnifying glasses for fun. It could lead to a big fire. Stuff like plastic, paper, toilet paper, and trees are extremely flammable. So be careful, because little fires can turn into big fires fast. And if a fire does break out, always remember, don't worry about getting in trouble. Just call 911 right away. <sighs> hmm. Roy, it'll, it'll never, never happen again. again. I can see you boys are sorry, and that's good. But you should still be punished. So, write a ten-page apology letter. Ten, ten pages? pages? But we're, we're so, so sorry, Jin! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! What is it? I just... Go. Uh, where's Charles? He's out today because he has a cold. That's too bad. I'm going to Broomsland this weekend and I can't wait! Broomsland? Yep. I'm going on the roller coaster and the bumper cars. Whoa! Sounds great! Watch out, Johnny! That's so gross! Sorry, Peter. Achoo! Achoo! I can't Achoo. wait for this! What's, What's up, Jin? Jin? Welcome back, everyone! <laughs> I love the pig mask! That's hilarious! <laughs> Jin, do you not what? feel well? Jin, are you getting a cold? Uh, there's some kind of bug going around Broomstown. <laughs> In that case, it's good you're wearing that mask. It helps to cut down on the number of germs that get spread around through the air. That makes sense. Good thing, because I've got one for you, too. What? No thanks. I'm feeling fine. Oh, uh, come get on. Away from Just me. try it oh, on, Helly. Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> Take it, Peter. <sighs> nice pass. And go. All right. Johnny, I scored. <laughs> Peter, I think I need to go home and lie down. Come on, you're tired already? Yeah, huh? See you later. Uh, Johnny, you're so out of shape. Peter, come on, man. Yeah, all right. Huh. Let's get this half started right. Mom, 
them home. Yes, I see huh? that. Nice work, Mom. These look great. Uh. Not so fast. You need to wash these hands first. I'll do it later. Um, Peter, Mom and I made those to take the brooms in tomorrow. I'll only eat a few. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> <laughs> We'll do the petting zoo and the fireworks. Achoo! Ugh. Tomorrow can't get here soon enough. Ugh. 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 Finally, I can't wait to go. <coughs> Woohoo! I can't believe we finally get to go! <laughs> and we couldn't have asked for a better day. Robert, hmm? you packed everything? I've packed the lunchbox, and I've got the camera. <laughs> and the mat? Uh-oh. I'll be right back, sweetheart. Every single time. <sighs> huh? <sighs> Peter, do you have a cold? Huh? Oh, uh, no. I'm better than ever. Really? Yeah, for sure. Here, let me get that. Huh? I'll take it. See? Totally hmm. fine. <sighs> Why do I feel so dizzy? I'm sure I'll be fine once we get there. <sighs> and now we've got the mat. <laughs> Peter! Mm -hmm. <gasps> Somebody help! Peter! Huh? Uh, what, what happened? Uh, oh no! Uh, Watch out! Uh, <laughs> Peter! Peter! He's got a nasty cold. I gave him some medicine for the fever. Thank, Thank you, you, Amber. Oh, mm. Broomsland. Broomsland. <laughs> mm. Just let him rest mm -hmm. a few days until he's better. Okay. <sighs> it feels so good to be outside. Good morning. Huh? Hello, Peter. Hello, Amber. Hello, Amber. So how are you feeling? After sleeping, like you said, I feel much better. <laughs> I don't want to be sick ever again. <laughs> you can help prevent colds by doing a few oh. simple things. Really? If there's a cold going around, it's a good idea to wear a mask to keep the virus from spreading. Washing your hands often and brushing your teeth will help eliminate any germs you may have come into contact with. If you're not dressed for the weather, your immune system can weaken. Be sure to dress warmly on cold days. If you cough or sneeze into your hands, you'll spread the virus to anything you touch. Cover your mouth with the inside of your elbow or a tissue. If you do catch a cold, get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluid. Understand? Yes, Amber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Mom, can we go to Broomsland right now? You're sure you're well? Way sure! I'm 100%! Hachoo! Maybe it's more like 80. Uh, no, Mom! I'm all better! Achoo! Achoo! Uh, it's just allergies! <laughs> <laughs> oh.